How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Thanks for joining me. In this episode we are going to be taking a look at containers. So we got a lot of containers in these levels. On the danger zone here we got lots of containers uh, and we don't really use them a lot other than if you've got some magnets you want to throw things around or projectiles, drag them around, shoot missiles at them, that kind of thing. So I figured well let's uh let's make a bit of a challenge here. So we're going to build some creations that require you to let's say load four of these containers onto a container ship and you have to do it the way a normal container would be loaded so the first thing that i built was a forklift obviously we can see we've got this heavy duty super weighted forklift you can see all the weights here pushing down on the back pushing the back wheel right into the ground so she's got some weight to counteract the force of these containers that we're going to be moving we have extensions, we got slide mode, everything else. So let's jump in here. You can see we got our back wheel that turns at full 80 degrees, 90 degrees. So we have very good control. So let's go grab one of these containers. You can see the controls there on the top of the screen. We'll pull up like this. We'll hit M for our magnets. Boop. We have Q and E, which are lean back and tilt forward, and then our arrow keys up and down is what's going to give us our lift. So we'll lift that sucker up, we'll pull it back as far back as we can, maybe lower it a little bit so we have some maneuverability, and then we'll back up this way. Now let's get this down to the, uh, down to the docks, where, as you'll see in the distance there, we have a container crane waiting. So that is the second part of this build, this three-part build. This container concoction so we're gonna bring this over to our crane over here and we can see we have a large like a claw type crane waiting here that we're gonna to use to load our boats well boats boat to single boat to single boat so we pull up like this and then we can lower this down a bit like that and then we can tip it forward a bit and hit M to release the magnet like that and give it a little tap so it actually falls down. It's really weird sometimes if you release a crate with magnets, it'll stay locked spatially in that position until you just tap it and then, it, then gravity seems to kick in and the physics kick in again. So if we got this one, let's go get one more and we'll bring it down here as well. Right, so let's grab this orange container. We'll lift it up, slide it back a bit. Now we also have with our left and right arrow keys, we can shift our load left and right. Oh, wow, it doesn't even look like we're like we've got it. Okay, hang on. Let's just set that down for a second. Back up just a wee bit. Put this forward. Bring these down all the way down. Okay, let's roll up here. Let's go magnets. Lean her back and lift it up. There we go. So like I was saying, we can, with our arrow keys left and right, we can shift our load left and right like this, which is real handy for specific movements. So we'll bring this one down to where our other container is waiting, over by the crane. All right, so now we've got two containers here. We'll lower that one down, we'll drop that one like this, M. See how it kind of stays frozen in the air like that? So you just give it a tap, and then it just falls back to normal. So now that we've got a crane and two containers, and we've got our forklift, let's take a look at our crane. So we've got some weights down here, there is an anchor on the bottom of this thing holding it in place even though there's a bunch of weight. And then we've got our cross member frame, which goes all the way up here. There's our cab up there. So let's jump up into the cab of our container crane. Now the beauty of this crane is that you can work at it from outside like this, outside the camera, or you can actually go into first person. And we have, we can rotate the cab so that we're actually looking down so that we can see what we're doing, how we're maneuvering. We want to be able to see things from this point of view then you have that option 
So let's go back out to our orbit cam. So W and S are extending the crane out and tracking it back. S and, and uh, W obviously, or A and D obviously is to rotate our crane. Now our arrow keys are what drop our cable or our rope and our left and right arrow keys rotate our actual claw on the end, rotate the actual rope so that we can align these to however we want. So we can drop this down here. And you can see we got our little claw guide there. We can rotate this a bit, drop that down like that. We can even pull it in a little bit like this so it's a little more centered on our container. Drop that down, hit M again for our magnet. We are locked and we'll pull that up. And now we have a container on our crane that we can swing around. And as you can see, you can turn like this, it rotates the, the container itself. But we have our arrow keys that we can actually rotate the container 360 degrees, however we want to. So the rope on this is just made with pistons. I did have some like uh, trailer hinges and some loose uh, hinge steering hinge joints. I just found that it was just way too floppy like a real rope. It would just, even if you added weight to the end of it, it would just swing around like mad, like a ball and chain. So I had to go with straight, straight pistons to, uh, to make it work properly. Uh, up top here, we just have a single servo underneath that rotating section there and our angle sensors as a flat platform to slide across. Our angled weights on the back here as well as a couple of fins to slow our drifty motion. As you can see, it swings a little bit. That's nothing compared to what it used to do. So once we have these like this, it's like, okay, so where are you going to put those containers, man? What are you going to load those containers on? So let's see if we rotate this back, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose my container if I jump out of this crane. There's a good chance the magnet will turn off and uh, down goes the container. So if we move this like this, we can set our container right back onto the dock where we got it. Set this down here, and we'll turn our magnet off. Pull that up slightly out of the way, and then we can jump out of the crane. And we're gonna come over here to the water, because we need a container ship to load these on. So here, we have a container ship. Surprise, surprise. Kinda looks like an oil tanker. But it's very similar to a container ship, just a big, massive, flat area open. Uh, we also have a couple of anchors on either side here connected to these sensors, and you'll see how those work once we pull up. So we got a big open area here. There are stairs on the inside, so you can work your way up, do, 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 do. up to the top here, where your seat is. You can get in the wheel of the seat. Number one is your minor thrust, so basically port speed. We have really good turning because if we look underneath here, we actually have pods on servos that have stabilizing fins and our underwater propellers on them as well on all four corners. So we can actually turn really, really well and turn in like a 90 degree on the spot. Number two is our traveling speed and those just toggle. So we can speed up or slow down number one and number two. We have Q and E as well, which is our strafing. So once we pull up to the side like this, we can start hitting E to pull us off to that side to strafe us over a little bit. We'll hit number one to turn those off. We'll pull ourselves up to the, to the dock here. We'll use our strafing E like this. And as you can see, as soon as those sensors come in contact, those pistons come out and our anchors lock onto the dock to hold us in place. And there's, they have those on both sides, so you can pull up either way. So once we have our boat in position, we can go back up to our crane. And now we can start loading the ship with our containers. So we'll move this one over, extend that out a little bit, try and grab it about in the middle, bring it down. It's going down. Because I'm craning. Oh, 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 up a little bit. Hey, hey, don't be tipping it over now. Don't be damaging the good. 
These crates are full of TVs and computers and things. So once we got it in place like that, we'll hit M. We'll magnet that sucker. We'll lift it up. And we won't. Well, we want to make sure we're above the hull of the ship there. We don't want to be damaging that. We'll extend that out. We'll swing this around a bit. Okay, settle down. So we'll move this around this way. Now, I don't even know if these containers fit sideways like this, but I do know that they fit in this way. With a wee bit of room in between them. So like that. And we're going to move this one. We're going to set this one towards the front. So we'll go this way. We'll angle this a little bit more this way. Lower this down. So we're right near the ship itself. I'm down here like this. See how low we are. Bring it right down. We'll move this one ahead a little bit so we've got room for our second one. Move this out. Let's see if we can extend this out as well. Probably should have made it a little bit longer. The pistons on the top to extend out, just to make sure that you can actually get the reach that you need. So we'll put that down like that. We'll release that, we'll pull that up. We'll reach over and grab our second crate. Hopefully we can reach it. So this would be a good uh, challenge. Have uh, two two-man teams. And see who can be the first one to load up two or even four containers or to see who can get the most containers on a ship like this. I think that would be all kinds of fun. Not only do you have to be accurate, but you got to be pretty stable as well. And then if you're trying to rush on top of that, that could, that could make it fun. All right, let's lower this down. Oh, 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 a little higher, a little higher. Come on now. Like that. And spin it around this way a little bit. Come on. A little bit like this. See how, see how it swings like that? Can you imagine if it was a rope, man, it'd just be dangling and bobbing all over the place. Okay, so let's try and lower that down. Whoa, 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 whoa. About like that. Nope, not quite. Let's extend that out a little bit. And then lower it down. M for magnet. Alright, we've got the container. Let's lift her on up. Spin it around this way. We'll make sure we're higher than the cab of the boat. So we'll swing this around like this. Then we're going to rotate it just a wee bit like this. We can lower that down. Oh, 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 oh. Careful now. Careful now. Lower it down a wee bit like this. Pull this in a little bit. Crane in. Drop this down. We can M to demagnetize. Ta da! Jump down off the crane. Get into the boat. We can use our strafing engines to get away, and our anchors will automatically lift. And then we can hit number one and number two. And away we go. We are shipping the goods. So it looks like you could probably fit at least six or probably double stacked like 12 containers on here. The crane and the forklift are both designed to deal with double stacks, so one stacked on top of the other. So as you can see, we, get, we have really good control of the boat here because of those steering pods underneath. And as far as where you take these, that'd be a really good question. Maybe all the way around to the other side of the island over by the Bowl of Doom or something like that. And then you could unload them there. And the winner would be the first one to unload their ship and get all their containers to their second location. The downside with doing this by yourself is that as soon as you hit R to rebuild something or you hit backspace, it's going to delete everything else. <laughs> so, this is the container loading set. I will upload these three things, the container forklift, the container crane, and the container ship to the shop. So if you want to download them and check them out, try and use them yourself, or try and build something very similar. See if you can build maybe a forklift that will load the boat as well. Uh, might be a little trickier to do, and it would probably be pretty heavy. The maximum complexity, maximum amount of parts. 
but I figured building three individual things like this would be cool because then you could have somebody operating the forklift while somebody's operating the crane and you could have a whole team getting work done and loading that boat. So yep, that's all I got for you in this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna put a little montage at the end here of uh, me going and getting some of these and loading up this stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this kind of content, uh, you might enjoy some of this stuff on the end screen here. And we will see you in the next one. Ciao. Thank you.